look, it's a really tough one. And I think, um, you know, I've had a bit of feedback on Twitter around why are you commenting on this? And as a past player and as past Diamond and a past sister, you're so passionate about the team. Like, I know everyone is, but when you have actually had your two cents in there and your personal values have been reflected in it and you've been a part of building it, that's what makes you so passionate. And it's about really caring about what you're playing for. And I think that's what Lisa Alexander did really well. You know, I remember before every game she would hold her hand over her heart and over the um, coat of arms and say, never forget why we're playing, never forget who we're playing for. Um, and that extra responsibility, that extra belief is what helped me as a player when I was in that team. Obviously, I wasn't in those teams in those losing tournaments. And so I don't know where that got lost. I don't know at what point in time the girls stopped believing or they stopped backing themselves. Because when you're a diamond, you know, you could ask Liz or Kath or Laura or anyone who's played in those winning tournaments, like you just have the belief that we're a diamond and you're not going to walk over us. And so what Stacey needs to do is rebuild that confidence within the team. And it's not an arrogance, like it comes across as arrogant when you're confident, but it's not, you need to have the confidence behind the arrogance. You can't just walk out and say, yeah, we're going to play well today. It's actually believing 100% within yourself and you need to get, sports psychs in so that they know what you know how the girls are ticking and why aren't they stepping up when they need to in those dying moments you can have the best like first three quarters and get a thousand intercepts or shoot a hundred percent but if you can't do it in that last quarter when it matters then i don't rate it do you know what i mean so yeah. Yeah. what stacy needs to do is help build that confidence and, and culture within the team and But from the outside, what I see positively is, yeah, that calm demeanour. She always seems to have that real connection with the players in her team to be able to get that message across in the huddles. That's always really important. You know, if players' eyes are, you know, you'll notice when you're watching, if players' eyes are wandering and stuff, <laughs> then they're not listening to what you're saying. Where she always gauges their intention, gives them the message. She's strong and straight with it. She seems really calm on the outset. And I like that she's just a normal human. Like, I think, you know, especially in the netball world, like a lot of people can get so caught up in, um, I don't know, it's netball and only netball matters. Um, whereas she seems really balanced. She's obviously got a young kid, um, great hubby. And mm -hmm. I think that that's what the diamonds need in regards to really looking after their players, um, health and wellbeing and mental health and all the rest of it has been a huge focus for the diamonds in continuing to look after the human as well as the athlete and she comes across as someone who that will definitely do that which makes me really happy.